welcome back to another raid shadow legends video with blazing corp we are going to pull some shards here uh, during this summons event not for the guaranteed champion uh, but because we need to get the points for the fusion uh, here so we're pretty much done uh, but uh, for oh it's actually not here it's during the event here um, pretty much uh, we are pretty much done artifact enhancement done summon rush uh, here is not done so that's the last thing we got to do get the last assassin so we can get our second copy of uh, of whore freeze so whore for ease and then uh, we want to get our second copy of scathix uh, here so we don't have enough sacred shards to get us all the way to scathix uh, here but we'll get uh, you know just beyond 2000 uh, here and then uh, we'll probably do some either some void shards or some um, yeah we'll either do some void shards to kind of make it up or we'll do some ancient shards uh, there. We'll, we'll see which way this goes uh, here to get to 3,000. All right, so let's uh, let's get some of these pulls going uh, here. Now we could actually probably do all ancient shards. Now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, we could do a lot of ancient shards and not have to blow our sacred shards here. Actually, let's see. Yeah, we could do our ancient shards, not have to blow our sacred shards. Let's take a look. Let's see if we can get a thousand here. See what we get uh, for these ancient shards. Because I've got enough built up that um, I think this is a good way to go uh, here. We just finished the two times sacred shard event. So we're not going to have another one of those for a little while. Uh, we're probably going to be void and, or ancient shards next. Uh, I mean, I could get Warlord here, here as well. Uh, you know what? Let's give it a shot uh, here. And so 10 will get us 1,200. Is that right? Yes, it will. So let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, Sinisha. Oh, wow. That's amazing. That is fantastic. Oh my goodness. Um, I can finally build out. Trying to get a build out uh, with Sinesha. So Sinesha and Skull Crown. I'll build them out to be a blender team along with the Arbiter who I'm building out. And I guess we'll probably pair a Speed Champion with them. Yeah, I don't know who, but uh, we'll pair a speed champion with them uh, here. So that's really nice. What a great first pull. That is fantastic. Uh, there. Yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, here, actually, how, ooh, how many points are we getting from pulling these shards here? So I believe it's 20 per shard. So that's 200, is that right? Yeah, so that's 200. Uh, yeah, we could probably do about a thousand of these. So 200, you know, five sets. We'd have to pull 50 ancient shards. Not sure I really want to do that uh, here, but I'll pull another 10 just to see how this goes. Oh, I do not have any more slots left. Is that not fun here? All right, we will be back. And when we're back, we will pull some more shards. All right, so we are back. We have cleared out a little bit of space here. Not that much here, but a little bit of space has been cleared out. So let's pull another 10. Here, let's see. Ooh, another skull crusher. That's nice. Oh, ooh, Claude Beast Feeder. That's a dupe. 
but uh, rather nice dupe there, and uh, even Gnarlhorn is pretty nice uh, there as well. Uh, nothing else is really standing out at me uh, here, so not bad and not bad at all. Should we pull another 10? I guess we could do that. So let's pull another 10. Come on, give me something good. Hellborn Sprite. Oh, Fenchy. Oh, very, very, very nice. Let's take a look at this guy's kit. Uh, attacks one enemy three times. Each hit has a 30% chance of placing a 30% decrease speed debuff for two turns. So that's pretty much going to hit per, uh, every time. You buff that up a little bit and you're rolling. Alright, so attacks one enemy three times. Each hit has a 50% chance of decreasing the target's turn meter by 15%. Uh, we'll book up to a 75% chance and that will go every two turns. Now he's a prime candidate for reflex gear. And then Ascension attacks one enemy two times. Each hit place a 5% poison debuff for, on the target for three turns. Ooh, that's cool. We'll ignore 10% of the target's defense for each poison debuff on the target. Oh wow, so you pair him up with someone like Bad Al, uh, Narl uh, here, and he will literally be ignoring, what, 50%? That's two, two from a Narl, two, so you'll be ignoring like 60%. Yeah, that's gonna hit, if he, if you pair him up with enough poison debuffers, he'll be hitting hard. Uh, there, so that's every three turns. Huh. Pretty much on all the time. That's not bad whatsoever. Wow. I might actually have to build this guy out. And put him in a reflex set. Yeah, he's a prime candidate for reflex. Really good pull. Thank you very much. I believe he was a uh, part of the fusion for oh I'm trying to remember the guy it was the fusion for i know i have him too it's kind of funny uh here I haven't built him out yet all right well that's kind of is what it is uh, thank you very much for the ancient shards uh should i pull so we're gonna be back once we clear some more room all right so we are back we're gonna pull three void shards here now hopefully one of these will be a warlord we're crossing our fingers crossing our toes let's get this done guys no such luck on the first pull this guy is trash come on Give me something good. Doom Street is not bad uh, here, but uh, not what I was looking for. Let's keep going. Oh my goodness, and it's all voids. It is and it's all uh, crappy crappy guys all right so three crappy pulls let's get some sacred shards pulled and we should be able to call this a day give me yellow come on claude beast feeder great isn't that fantastic he's actually a good champion uh, here we have three of him now two pulled during this video so um, yeah let's give me someone other than someone that I already have uh, here let's get something good come on
Oh my goodness, are you serious? Uh, here, a second of lore, that's not cool. That is not cool. I mean, she's really good, but still not cool. Come on, give me something better. I need yellow. Ox to remember, who I already have, dupe. Fantastic, let's keep going. This is the last chance, come on. And a Sinesha, really? Two dupes in the same set of pulls? That is insane. Uh, here, although he could do a team with two Sineshas, one um, Skull Crown, and an Arbiter, that'd be pretty vicious uh, there. All right, so, you know, kind of it uh, here on that end. Let's see if we got Scathics. So we should have Scathics ready to go. Yep, fantastic. We kind of lined them up perfectly uh, here. So we are pretty much completed this event here right now. Good thing here is that uh, with Scathics, we can now fuse him in the fra in the fusion here. So we're gonna fuse Scathics here. So let's get this fired up. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fuse another Hor Horfreeze once I get Assassin built out. And we will call it a day on the Herndeg fusion. We'll fuse Herndeg. Uh, here as well So let's go ahead and do that. We'll build out assassin. We'll build out uh, Scathix and uh, we'll get uh, Herndig fused up Welcome to the team Scathix So from what I can see he's pretty good champ uh, here, attacks on enemy, 30% chance of placing a speed decrease buff, debuff. That booked up to 50%. Attacks all enemies, 100% uh, chance of stealing one random buff from each enemy. Also not bad. This is the main ability here. Removes all debuffs from all allies, then place up block debuffs. Then places shield buff on all allies for two turns. Shield buff is equal to 20% of the champion's max HP on a four turn cooldown. Not bad whatsoever. And then his passive place the block damage buff on this champion for one turn whenever their HP drops below 30%. And that's every six turns. So not terrible whatsoever, but this is going to be really useful during faction wars. So definitely worth uh, their pulling the, the ancient shards and the sacred shards and the void shards. Uh, there without a doubt. So we're gonna build him up. We're gonna fuse another version of Hor Horfries, and uh, we'll be right back. We will pull Herndeg. Welcome Horferies to the team. We will definitely be building you out for Faction Wars uh, here. You are our second fusion here of the night. We are ready at this point to fuse Herndeg. Um, it has been, I think, I think we're on day 12 uh, here. So definitely we could have did this at day 10 uh, here, but I uh, really wanted to get to fuse these other two champions just for faction wars. I uh, hear really low. I uh, hear don't have that many skin uh, legendmen, and definitely don't have that many skinwalkers. Uh, so they're that um, you know their their kits are really good for that team. 
um, Herndeck, it has been an honor, a pleasure. I'm looking forward to playing with you greatly. Finally, welcome to the team Herndeg. This is what the last 12 days have been about, and we are very happy to have you. Let's take a look at his skills. Attacks one enemy, grants an extra turn. You know how I love grants an extra turn right here. Um, and decreases the cooldown of the stasis strike skill by two turns if this attack kills an enemy. Really, really nice skill. Especially decreasing stasis strike by two. Arcane Tempest attacks all enemies. 100% chance when booked of placing a 60% decrease defense and a 60% decrease accuracy debuff for two turns. That's really cool. I hear that could help in a lot of boss fights actually. I uh, hear, yeah, that could help in some boss fights, even in the arena uh, there as well. Decreasing accuracy is huge. And that's a, let's see, three turn cooldown, so that's not too bad. And attacks one enemy fully depletes target's turn meter. When ascended, will also attack all enemies if the first attack is critical, so it's, it's pretty much an AoE. AoE attack has a 100% chance when booked of placing a 25% weakened debuff for two turns. Will also place an HP burn debuff for two turns after the attack on the enemies whose turn meters are below 30%. That's not bad right here whatsoever. That's on a four turn cooldown when booked and 100% chance for that AOE debuff chance. Really nice. Let's see what his passive is here. Fills this champion's turn meter by 10% every time they're hit. Occurs once per hit. Also fills this champion's turn meter by 20 whenever an ally dies. Ooh, that's pretty nice. And then uh, increases ally attack in arena battles by 35%. Pretty vicious uh, aura there, but kind of wish that was all battles rather than just arena right here. All in all, this has been a fantastic fusion, a really easy fusion, which is great to have an easy fusion every once in a while especially for a decent character like this gentleman here. So I do look forward to uh, kind of slowly building him out. I'm not going to rush to build him out. He's just like Astralon and I have Astralon already. We're going to take our time. We're going to build him out, get the right uh, gear on him. And then once that's geared up, we'll do a, we'll kind of run him in all the content that we can uh, here. He'll be really good for faction wars though as well. All right looking forward to doing that so this has been it this is the last day of how to navigate the Herndeg fusion thank you so much if you've watched every video for watching it uh, here i do appreciate everything do subscribe if you haven't so already lots of people watching these videos have not subscribed so please hit the subscription button it helps me tremendously and it doesn't cost you a thing have a fantastic day there guys i do well, well we'll be back with some doom tower hard um uh, videos uh, here and uh let's chat then